whatnot. It's been talked about with your teammates that you're not the favorite. So. Yeah, definitely. Why, how, why has it been so important for you all to use that to fuel what you're going through now and do the challenge you have? Um, I think if you make it this far and you still need fuel to go out there and play as hard as you can and play your best, then you know you really don't belong. You know, like I said, I don't. I haven't taken it as any fuel. Like I said, I, I don't think it's underdog. That's for you know the people outside of this room and outside of this locker room. But uh, for me, every time I step on that field, you know, I'm gonna play as hard as I can. It doesn't matter who's across from me. How do you feel about when people make the gripes about Notre Dame isn't in a conference or they don't have to play a conference championship or anything like that? Um, that's probably one of my favorite parts about you know being a Notre Dame that we don't play in a conference. You know, we can play anybody we want in the country. Um, uh, like Texas playing Texas, that was probably one of my favorite experiences playing at Texas. I mean, we lost that game, but it was just a cool atmosphere, and I don't think teams get to experience that all the time. Miles, can you talk about the connection that you and Ian have? You take class together, obviously, Yeah, uh, you know, B Book is a great person on and off the field. Um, you know, he does everything the right way. And uh, obviously, when we were both twos, uh, <laughs> It was kind of funny because when we were both twos, you know, we were always just, you know, balling out together on the two squad. And, you know, we just always had a great connection since then. Uh, but, you know, we got to show it on a big stage last year. And, you know, that's what we've been doing all this whole season. And that's what we look to continue to do. Uh, can you talk about, just about being here as an experience in Cotton Bowl, Dallas, and now being here in the city for a couple days, what that means to you and also your family? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, my family flies in a little bit later today, but uh, it's been it's been a cool experience of being out here. Um, I was like, you know, I've been I've played in Texas, but I've never been to Texas. You know, if that makes sense. Uh, it's cool seeing that you know the outside of Texas. You know, Whataburger, I, I ate that for the first time. Uh, so it's it's been very exciting and uh, extremely humbling at the same time. It's good. It's good. It's, yeah, not, good? it's not Five Guys, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, <Yes. laughs> it's not Five Guys, but it's, it's good. It is good. Uh, from what you've seen today, does Clemson isolate receivers and corners a good bit? And you get a lot of man coverage without a lot of help? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's what Clemson does, and they're extremely good at this. Uh, you know, the narrative has been that, you know, Clemson corners aren't uh, that they're the weak point in their, in their defense, and that's not true at all because, you know, when you turn on the film, they're making a lot of plays, and they're, you know, they're covering very well. So uh, from that standpoint, it's going to be a battle on the outside. Um, it doesn't matter what other people think, you know, after watching the film, uh, we definitely know it's going to be a battle.